Okay, we're recording now. Oh, we Harvey were... Rosen in his garage. Uh -oh. Harvey, what, what are you doing here? Uh, I was just uh, cleaning my uh, fishing reels after my great adventure on the ocean. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So why don't you just show us since we're out here and then we'll go inside. What do you have here? Look at this. Um, I have uh, a bunch of accurate reels. Um, this is a 30 pound class reel. This is a 40 pound class reel. This is a 50 or 60 pound class reel. It's 60. These are the, the what does class mean? It's the line test, the rating of the line oh, that okay. you can put on it. Okay. 60 pound. You know, these are like 60 pound test reels. Which of all these reels? Um, they were all too small for the type of fishing that I did. <laughs> wow. This is going to be a story. I can't wait to hear this. But anyway, they were out there on the ocean, so, you know, I, I clean them up real well so they last. Otherwise, Roger, you know what the ocean does to stuff. Oh, man, do I? Do I? It's just unbelievable. So, and I see up above you, you have a bunch of your rods, huh? Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. Wow. They're really beautiful looking rods, man. Oh, and, and this is, a, is this the lure you used, or you were no, using live fish? This is a Wahoo lure, you know, just, you know, this is the, you know, this is the size bait you're using out there, wow. approximately. Only, Bigger than your hand, huh? Only live bait. Look at the live. size of those hooks, jeez. All right. So what did you, Harvey, what did you catch? Uh, caught a total of 15 tuna. I got, my biggest one was 175 pounds, I caught a 140 pounder, I got 111 pound, I got a 91, a 78, and some around in the 50 pound range. You so. got that all memorized, sounds like <laughs> you, you really enjoyed that. Well, you know, uh, each day, uh, on this particular boat, they did something that they don't usually do. And that was, they had a certified scale right on the boat. So as you caught the fish, they waited for you. And then they marked it on your daily count. So, you know, you had Harvey, 140. You know, Joe, 268. You know, and so you could, you could uh, keep track of what you caught, you know, which was pretty cool. Pretty well, cool. tell us a little bit more about how, first of all, I understand each year you go. You've been out with Rich Simmons and so forth. So each year you go you go fishing for a week, right? Yeah, I go a couple of times. Sometimes I go a minimum of two times a year tuna fishing. Um, I usually go on five-day trips, but this time I decided to do a ten-day trip. And on a ten-day trip, they go they travel further south into warmer water, where you get bigger tuna. Ooh! So um, I thought I'd give it a try on a ten-day. Um, which I did. Um, and so where do you go out of? What, what, what was your, you, you fly somewhere and then you, you jump okay, on the Okay, getting there was an experience. Okay. Uh, you know, I left Friday of the storm. When was that? That storm we oh, had? Oh, yeah. Big storm. I remember that one. I mean, it was, I've never driven in, con in conditions that were as windy. I mean, it was blowing my Suburban from one side of the road to the other. And it actually saw, uh, Three, three big ribs, ri rigs flipped over on the side of the road. Wow, I heard about that. Oh, yeah, it was it was it was unbelievable. I've never going over going over the grapevine. It was pouring like sheets. It was windy as hell, and it was foggy. So you know, I mean, I was gripping the real the, the rod. I mean, the, the <laughs> steering wheel for dear life, <laughs> getting, up, getting up over that, getting up over that grade. So just getting there was an adventure in itself. And uh, uh, I drive down to San Diego, and we pick the boat up in San Diego, and then travel uh, south into Mexico. Um, we traveled on this particular trip. We traveled. It took us 60 hours to get to the fishing grounds. So you travel, you know, we, we got on the boat uh, around 4 o'clock in the evening. We picked up bait around 5. 
and headed off around the point. We were outside the point by, by around 6 o'clock. And we traveled uh, all day Sunday, all day Monday, and started fishing um, Monday around 8, 9 o'clock. Um, can, I, can I stop you there for a minute? I'm getting a lot of reflection off something. If you could move back, it might help a little bit. Or go inside if you want. Relax and uh, go with it. So my goal on this trip was to uh, catch a 200 pound fish. Okay. Which I didn't. I got close. I, got, I caught one 175 pounds, which was big enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's damn close, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, that sucker beats you up, <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, it's amazing. So what, which of these, did you use one of these to no. reel it in? Mm -hmm. No, you had to use industrial. Well, you know, the, it, it was an accurate, Accurate is a company that makes high-end reels. And they sponsored the trip. And the reason I chose going on that trip was because it was sponsored by Accurate, because I don't have the equipment to catch fish that big. Wow. Um, the reels that we used are twelve, thirteen hundred dollars a piece. Wow. And yeah, we fish with a hundred and thirty pound test monofilament. <laughs> Can you show us some? Yeah. Uh, that's just amazing. This is a top shot. I just got a hook in my hand. And here. this is used so you, that you don't have to remove all the line on your reel. Mm -hmm. You just make make up these top shots, and uh, at the end of the day, you you take you know you have a loop on your on your reel mm -hmm. as well, so you go loop to loop connection. Okay. So you only have to t uh, change you know the top hundred feet mm -hmm. rather than five hundred yards. Yeah. You know. uh, this is it.